string of mass shootings nationwide is leading to heated debates over gun restrictions. And now one Collier County group wants local government to take a position in this debate. As 4 in your corners Julie Salomon shows you, that group says it wants city leaders to defend your right to bear arms. Keith Flaw and nearly 50 other activists in Lee and Collier counties work to preserve a person's Second Amendment rights. The rights of the people uh, to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, period. Um, it's that simple. After a string of mass shootings, including the Sandy Hook tragedy, states like New York have now signed new gun control legislation, like banning internet sales of assault weapons. The move makes New York's gun laws the strictest in the country. I wouldn't want to live in New York, but I strongly agree with the, the right of New York to pass its own laws that limit. Uh, they can't overrule the Second Amendment, but they can put limits on it. That's their state right. But there's also been talks at the federal level to tighten gun regulations. And Keith says the federal government is overstepping its boundaries. So he's starting at the grassroots level by drafting this resolution and introducing it to Marco Island City Council. It will also go to Collier County Commissioners next week. This is patterned after a successful case in North Carolina, Beaufort County, North Carolina. Uh, all five of their county commissioners uh, submitted this to their governor. The resolution, if approved, would be a statement from local elected leaders saying they won't support the federal government's attacks on the Second Amendment, a message they want Governor Rick Scott to agree with, too. We want them to send this resolution to the governor and to the legislature to get the governor to enact a law. I reached out to both city and county leaders today. I'm still waiting to hear back. But the governor's office also has a copy of these resolutions, and they're looking into this idea. What we're just trying to do is get people to wake up to their loss of natural rights or God-given rights. From Marco Island, Julie Salomon, Fox 4, in your corner.